Good morning. Thank you for having me. My name is Amy Hempfling. I'm an ICU nurse that has worked many hours in our COVID ICU here at Watauga Medical Center. I'm privileged to have this opportunity to speak to our beloved community regarding the effects of COVID-19 and what each of us can do to make a difference. As a nurse, our goal is to aid in healing and supporting the patient during an illness. COVID-19, the Delta variant in particular, has made any type of healing for a nurse feel absolutely impossible. We come to work and we are tackled by COVID. There's more mourning for our patients than any type of healing. Patients come in extremely sick from the virus. They come to us in ICU maxed out on any type of oxygenation possible before intubation. Many times before we have to intubate them, we give them an opportunity to speak to their family. When they speak to their family, I many times fear that those will be their last spoken words. And lately, this has rung true many, many times. That's really, really hard for a nurse to know that those will be their last words. Um, with the help of Melanie Childers, our chaplain, she goes around with the FaceTime and is able to keep that communication with the family. FaceTime has also helped us during the last days of their life when we have to take them off the ventilator and keep the family right there at the bedside. But as the nurse, we have to communicate those last moments with the family. And as the nurse, I have to tell them, your loved one, they have now stopped breathing. Your loved one, their heart has stopped beating. They've stopped breathing, they have passed. The major population that is presenting during the surge is different than the last. The majority of the community members in COVID ICU are not generally sick folks. They don't have a laundry list full of health problems. The majority are healthy, they are young, and they are unvaccinated. I know I speak for most of us that we don't wanna worry about COVID anymore. We crave that old life before COVID and we want that old, that old way of life back. And with that said, our minds tend to rationalize but I'm healthy, my family's healthy. There's no need to put an extra vaccine in my body. But masks feel like an inconvenience. They're uncomfortable and they don't work. Many people get so sick, but not many have to go to ICU and get intubated. A lot of people just get symptoms, like cold symptoms, and they're just fine. A lot of people feel this way because they have youth and health on their side. They feel that COVID will not land them in ICU. And really, I really, 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 wish this was the case because it's not. The number of ventilated patients in our hospital may appear very small to you in the big scheme of things until it's someone you love, until it's potentially you, until it's you lying in that bed and you can't catch your breath and the doctor comes in and he tells you it's time that you potentially have to go on a ventilator. Then those numbers that you see on media that felt so small, they're not small anymore. They're big, they're all consuming, then it's about life and it's about death. Please let us use our tools that we have been given. The last COVID surge we had, we didn't have the vaccine. We're blessed to have another tool that has been given to us. Let us use those tools to stop the spread, to lower the numbers, to stop deaths due to COVID-19. Let us use the vaccine, which is free and available. And we can say that here in America, but so many other countries don't have that luxury. They don't even have oxygen. They don't have healthcare. We have clean water to wash our hands. We have masks to wear when we're gathered in groups. I urge you, please use, utilize the tools that we've been given so we can help stop the spread of COVID-19 for the community, community members that we love so much. Thank you.